Hi everyone, this is The Game Plan. My name is Cara Rado and uh, I'm dressed like this today. I'm not supposed to wear patterns, but I'm dressed like this today because the 2021 AFCON has kicked off. Yes, 2021, that's not a mistake. It was supposed to be held last uh, year. Yeah. But it's going on now, kicked off yesterday. Our Twitter question <laughs> comes from the Africa Cup of Nations. So I am representing... Uh, 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 Caro, Caro, we cannot what? ignore the FA Cup. Which FA Cup? Uh, the one where you were knocked off. Those, those FA Cup yesterday? Yeah. Uh, I, not, it's not yeah. an excuse to wear Kitenge. <laughs> Kitenge, <laughs> that's not a race there. If you're okay, bad clothes, maybe, you're bad clothes. Maybe. Don't look that. Don't use that Africa Cup right. for that. Maybe we'll get to the uh, Af to FA Cup later, if we have any time. <laughs> oh, if please. we have any time. Oh, but guys, the first discussion we want to have today is about uh -huh. Kenyan football. Uh -huh. Simply because things have been happening in Kenyan football that are not uh, pleasing yes. to me. <laughs> There is a yeah. letter that was written last week by the chairman of Madari United, Bob Munro, addressed to the caretaker committee saying that KPL clubs are suffering, they need to be bailed out, things are not going their way. Yeah. And uh, we have today the chairman of AFC Leopards, Dr. Dan Shikanda, on the line. Dan Abariako. Salama, salama, Karo Abariako. I'm fine, Shikanda. As told doctors, we have to specify doctor because you spent many years, eh? <laughs> you went to school for yes. many years. <laughs> yeah. Of course. You spent many years in school. You're over <laughs> many years in school. You're overeducated. Yes. <laughs> of all the years that you spent in school, Shikanda, and all the years no. playing for both Gormaya, AFC Leopards, and Harambe Stars, did any of that education prepare you for where Kenyan football is today? Yes, that education prepared me, especially yeah. now that I'm going through baptism by fire. <laughs> uh, I think that education prepared me, mm -hmm. and I'm in a position to handle what I've been handling. I thank God we have uh, reached where we've reached as a club. Mm. Uh, it's not been easy. I never thought we will survive up to this January. But by God's grace, we are still there hanging in there hoping uh, things will improve. Just paint a picture for us, Shikanda. Mm. Paint a picture of where KPL clubs are now. Because I know things were bad even before COVID, before 2020. <clears throat> During the COVID, uh, I can't even say COVID time because it's not over. <laughs> um, since as 2020, the pandemic, yes. as the pandemic has gone on, things have got even worse. Where are right. we now financially? Financially, I think... Uh, all the clubs are in the red, including the institutional oh. clubs, uh, mm -hmm. because uh, we interact a lot and uh, we exchange notes. And most of these clubs are even saying the budgets that they were given have run out. And uh, let me not talk about those clubs. Let me talk about my club. Yes. Okay. Um, for the last two years, it's been very tough on us, especially uh, when I was elected, the sponsor left my within uh, three weeks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the sponsor used to give us 57 million. Imagine losing 57 million. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. wow. We ran the club without sponsorship for a whole year. Oh. And we finished the league sixth on the log. What? Mm -hmm. The following year, COVID struck. Mm -hmm. yeah. And everything came to a halt, including mm -hmm. airlines were packed. Mm -hmm. All planes were packed in the world. Nothing moved. Mm -hmm. We never stopped paying our players' salaries. Mm -hmm. The year of COVID, I, I am on record to have paid seven months' salaries mm -hmm. when no football was being played. I remember my goalkeeper, Chan, calling me from Uganda and asking me, what miracle is this? I am at home, not playing football, and my salary is coming in. And at times when I was in Kenya playing football, there was no, no salary. salary. Yeah. How, how have so you managed that, we, Shikanda? How have you managed that? Uh, I managed that through my contacts, more so political contacts, more so friends. Even up to now, we've reached where we've reached because of the contacts that uh, I have had together with um, the officials that we are running the club in. Remember, we are only three officials, the chairman, the secretary, and the treasurer. Mm -hmm. right. At times, it's, a, it's, an, it's a, a, an advantage. At times, it's a Disadvantage, disadvantage. Especially when you need to raise funds. Mm. 
So okay. it's been very difficult. And being in a, in a community club where everybody has the right of what they want to say, mm. tomorrow they'll just come up with a story that we know the chairman has stolen this amount of money, we know the treasurer has done this, we know the secretary has done this, and it buys rounds in the social media, yeah. and it becomes yeah. serious until people now start looking at you like uh, there's nothing you guys are doing in the office. But where we are as a club and as clubs of KPL, after the, after the dissolution of, uh, after the government dissolved the federation, mm -hmm. we used to get about 883,000 from the federation. Mm -hmm. That is for uh, Star Times and uh, Bet King. Uh, mm -hmm. sponsorships. Mm -hmm. You remember the start times thing where we don't know how we signed it, people signed it. For example, <laughs> I, I was told I, I was told FC Leopard has signed. Yeah. So with FC we have no problem and I've never seen even that piece of document. Yeah. But at times uh things are pushed to the uh to, to a point whereby you wonder should we stop this? Should we continue? But we continued. Start times, there was a lot of hula mm. Uh It was signed by all the clubs. Let me put it in quotes, by all the clubs. Mm -hmm. I know of clubs which never signed. And then we had um, Betkin, where you are being shown, this is the contract you are signing with Betkin. You will be receiving this much. So all in all, to cut a short story, um, a long story short, mm -hmm. we were receiving 883. Per month. From the federation mm -hmm. per month okay. to run the league. Okay, can I but that ended, but that we... ended in uh, June last year because June last year I know um, the betting sponsors uh, cancelled. Um, I know as we speak yeah. now, there's no broadcast partner. So, oh, how are you managing now? That ended for AFC Leopards. I think it ended. It ended. We were paid only thrice. Mm -hmm. The other money is we were not paid. My but God. they showed more of our matches than any other club. They showed about 27 of our matches. Mm. And we were paid less money than Kariobangi Sharks or than Western Steamer, who they showed about six to seven of their matches, wow. and they earned more money than AFC Leopard. Uh, yeah. Wow. Let me ask you. Okay, you you're opening are now a whole that... new can of worms. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dr. But it's good to know. No, but it's good to know. Yeah. That ended, I think, in uh, July when the Bet King pulled out. Yeah. And then oh. uh, it was followed by Star Times. Mm -hmm. When the caretaker committee came in, mm -hmm. they were actually to give us, we had discussions. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, I was elected as an interim chairman of, of KPL clubs. I've used the word unfortunately deliberately because <laughs> when you are a chairman, uh -huh. you have to make things happen. Yeah. But when you try to make things happen, people think that maybe you've been inciting people uh, who you've been representing. Yeah. So uh, it's been tough on the KPL clubs because we have negotiated, we have had lots of talks with the, uh, with the caretaker committee. Uh, we requested them to give us two million per month for each club for the next six months okay. to bail us out. Yeah. I have seen the government bailing out National Bank of Kenya Mm -hmm. I have seen Kenya the government Airways. bailing out Kenya Airways. Yeah. Right. I have seen the government bailing out a number of parastatals that mm. go down. Yeah. Yes. But I don't know why the government does not want to bail out football because, because uh, where we are. Mm -hmm. Yes. They can I yeah, ask because a question. A lot, a, a lot of people are saying that there are some people saying that clubs are independent and should be able to manage on their own. But we do know these are unprecedented times. Mm. It's been difficult for sponsors to come into a game that's not being broadcast that fans can't go to. AFC Leopards Gorma here, you rely on fans. For the longest time, there were no yes. fans allowed in the stadium, yes. despite our pubs and matatus being full. You know, it's mm. like sport was forgotten uh, by the government completely. And rightfully so, you should be bailed out or we won't have a league. And the, the letter from yes, Bob Monroe yes. last week basically said, in two weeks' time, we won't, half the clubs, half of the 18 clubs we'll won't be able to continue operating. Is that a reality, by the way? Who been is, that, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that letter a reality? Is that the real situation? It, it is a reality. For example, I hosted Nzoia Sugar mm -hmm. yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I tell you how I raised my 165 to host them, mm. I raised it through friends. 
My goodness. I have to call friends. Help me with this money. I will return it back. I'm mm. glad, I'm, I'm, glad I'm not your friend. I don't <laughs> <laughs> All my friends, you have taken off. I've, uh, I've tried raising you. You don't pick my call. She can't do your thing. Hey, she can't do your thing. Oh, my God. That's oh, not true. Oh, 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 I can oh, never oh, fail oh, to pick your calls. You know that. I can yeah, never but, fail but, to pick but, your calls. But I understand but, where you're coming from, uh, uh, Shikanda. So when, 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 when have we, as the as the chairman of a uh, chairman of the football uh, Kenya Premier League uh, clubs? come up with a document we can give to the ministry and say, look, we want a bailout. We have given you the figure is $2 million. This is how it's spent. So that even the government can say when they are accounting for the funds that we received this and this is how we are going to disburse the money and then now they can be able to see whether to help I, you I, out. I think the question is, has the caretaker committee responded to your request for $2 million a month? Exactly. Okay. Let me answer both questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> We have actually written to them mm -hmm. and requested for the two million mm -hmm. because that was the fairest figure they could give up. They could give, especially non-institutional clubs, right? Because institutional clubs they are being covered somehow. But I can still see there are so many clubs which have not paid salaries, mm -hmm. yeah, and they are also institutional, institutional clubs. Mm -hmm. So we have written to the uh, to, to the caretaker committee. Mm -hmm. We had a discussion. All the chairmen. We came up with uh, those figures of two million, and we told them for the next six months to make sure that we can bail out this league. If mm -hmm. you can give us two million per club, so that the clubs can actually organize themselves, more so the community clubs. Yeah. So that what was their response done? We are running out of time. What was their response? Okay, their response was simple: We will come back to you. My <laughs> God! They came up. They came back with three uh, with three hundred thousand. What? Club. What? I, I I am meant to understand the three hundred thousand was not given to all the clubs. It was just given to a few clubs. I'm happy FC Leopards got the three hundred thousand, which we used to pay the coaches' rent at uh, where the coach stays. Yeah. So, I, the letter that Bob Mundro wrote, Is to be truth? honest. It's the truth. I, I have called. I, it is the truth because we will not hide these things. We are actually suffering. As the clubs, we are suffering. And that's why we are appealing to the government kindly if they can bail out the league. Can if I ask they you? they can bail us out. Yeah. Fair enough. Can I ask if you? If they can bail us out, mm. we will definitely see this league to the end. Yes? Where, 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 when it comes to the government is one issue. But what's... what's, what's okay, I don't, I don't use a word, but I have to say... What is the excuse that the corporate world gives you when you're approaching for help at this point? Uh, it's very interesting because the corporate world still mm. thinks we're in the old age of fans throwing stones, yeah. of fans fighting, mm. of fans not behaving well. So they usually tell us their brand will be dragged mm. into the mud oh, okay. of hooliganism. I have done 70, yesterday, um, last week, I did my 77th and 78th proposal. Wow. To corporates. Wow. And to be honest, the excuses they're giving, there's COVID, yeah. there's, we are not sure about the environment surrounding business in this country at the moment because of COVID. I got some others who uh, let us see how the elections will go. Yeah. I mean, it's all a bag of excuses. Mm. Yeah, but, uh, in, in, defense, in defense of the corporate uh, shikanda, a lot of those are legitimate reasons. We know that uh, a lot of corporates have suffered because of uh, COVID. Uh, their bottom line is... Some of it's them are also affected. in the red. Yeah. We know, unfortunately, this country has a reputation of election years. You yeah, know, we yeah. have a very bad reputation that election years is so uh, uncertain for businesses. So it is. But then the same government or the same caretaker committee who's trying to repair the name of football because football does have a bad name. You know, mm. unfortunately, nobody has marketed. <clears throat> sorry, nobody has marketed brand FKF Premier League for a corporate to say, I want to partner with you. Yeah. And uh, now we have the caretaker committee. I hope that's something they've put on their agenda. Let's change the image mm. of Kenyan football. Because a lot of these corporates, their concerns are legitimate, eh? unfortunately.
And then when it comes to, uh, these corporates are not charities as well, eh? so they're businesses. <laughs> At least Gore and AFC can say, you know what, we have fan bases who yeah. are your potential clients. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the other clubs are in trouble, which means even the clubs have work to do in uh, building a, a fan base. Eh? So again, the deathbed is real. It's real. There's no money. No one is offering any but money. But for anymore. now, I think the government should bail out clubs. That's also no, my opinion. I can, I can tell you for free. Mm. You see, you cannot continue doing the same thing. You cannot continue doing something the same way and expect different results. Exactly. exactly. I can tell you, co corporates are missing a lot mm. by shining out on football. They should they actually are. come and try to improve. They're missing a lot. They are, but you see me and you know that because we're inside. Mm. We're insiders. Yeah. But who's How we're selling the story? the story, the story is not being told correctly, maybe. It's, it's not being sold by the, the... What Carol is trying to say is that this is a caretaker committee agenda. It should be it top of the agenda. It better be. It should be. It because should it was be FKF's job to yeah, give football FKF's a good job name. To actually, yeah. Exactly. Unfortunately, the same FKF gave football a bad name. So, <laughs> <laughs> clearly, it's an uphill task. <laughs> But I, I, I just, we, we actually are out of time done. But for me, it's very unfortunate because it the is. Premier League is the forefront of Kenyan football. Mm. If we can't sort the Premier League. Football is dead. Football is dead <laughs> and dying. And by the way, it's not just yeah. football. Huh? Rugby, not, same rugby, story. Everything. All yeah. the sports, same so story. So you guys are not in, I, in HDU, you're in ICU. No, we are going to be buried. We are already there. We are still taken to the, to, to the grave. And you know he's a doctor, if you, eh? If you use ICU, <laughs> if you use ICU, you are giving us some hope. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I, I hope we have to let you go, Dan. But uh, thanks for shedding light Thank on you. this. I hope the caretaker committee is listening because oh, yes. three hundred thousand is one away game. Exactly, you know? yeah. one away game. I don't know if yeah, three hundred thousand is even enough for one away game. And and it teams... is just one game. It's just one game. Yeah. One game. Carol, before you go, yeah. Let me request the government uh -huh. kindly. They should come up not only through the caretaker committee, uh -huh. but even as a government to try and. Uh, make sure that football does not die because football carries a lot of aspirations for so many yes. years in this country. Yeah. So seeing how football is going, it is a pity. It's and a sign to the others. And to the government to do something. Thank you. All right. All right. Thanks, Shikanda. Thank you. And Thank uh, guys, very interesting but disturbing conversation on Kenyan football. I yes. certainly hope that things will change. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to go to uh, Cameroon and uh -huh. talk about AFCON. Uh -huh. And uh, maybe, maybe we'll sneak in a bit about FA Cup. <laughs> After the break. <laughs>